So, hello everyone. This is Nazir Falashat and I'm from Bangladesh. Today I'm going to post in this session and um, let's get started with reading. I would really like to request Jersey ma'am to play the script. Can you all see it? Yes, we do. Yes. Yes, we can see it. Okay. So here's uh, the script named The Red Balloon, and it's actually arranged by Ruby Kremasi. And there are six characters here named Narrator 1, Narrator 2, Narrator 3, Boy, Conductor, and Gang. So I would like to ask you, everyone who wants to be narrator one. I want to be the narrator one. Okay, so it's uh, Nakshi, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so who wants to be narrator two? Uh, can I be narrator two? Nafeli. Okay, name? Nafeli. Nafeli. <laughs> And uh, who wants to be narrator three? Georgia, do you want to be narrator three? <laughs> yes, she wants to be narrator three. Thank you. Thank you. Who wants to be a boy? Um, Maria here. here. Okay. Yes. And conductor? Emma, 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 okay. And a gang. Uh, we can make three people for a gang. So all of us. The gang. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, too, yeah. so rest of you can be gang. So we can start now by narrator one. Okay, thank you. Once upon a time, a little boy was having no fun and having no joy. He was lonely. He tried to have a dog. He tried to have a cat, but his mother wouldn't fear of that. They bring dirt into the house. So the little boy at school and at home always, always played alone until one day looking up to the sky he saw something flying high. A red balloon. The streets of Paris brightened that day. And the little boy could laugh and play. He'd found a friend. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> But school was so very far, he had to take it on the streetcar. And the conductor said, No dogs, no large puppies, and no balloons. It was me, because I would walk and take my time. This balloon is a friend of mine, but I mustn't be late to the unlock the gate. And then I'll be in table with my teacher. The little boy marched on down the street and the balloon soon took up the beat. Following right behind the boy. A gang of boys saw the balloon following the boy and he wasn't even holding it on a string. It was a strange sight, all right. We, we could, could take, take the balloon, balloon and teach it trick. tricks. Oh, oh no. no. Let's, Let's break, break it, it with, with rocks, rocks or, or sticks. sticks. Taking the balloon, come here. The boy said. And he grabbed and held on tight to the string. 
And suddenly the gun came from all directions and the boy ran to give his friend the balloon some protection. But the gun kept coming and the rock that was thrown first was the one that made the red balloon burst. To balloon, don't die, don't leave, don't go away. I will try to give you some more air. We, we got, got him. him. And do you know what happened? All the balloons in Paris that day loosed, loosed their strings and flew away. And they formed a line way up in the sky. And the light boy cried and asked, Why? That red balloon was my friend. But the ending is happy. The ending is bright. All the balloons in the sky came to the boy's house that night to greet him in the morning. Beautiful. Wow. Sure. The new people coming in too who may want to read or you change parts. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe we should change the parts. Nice. I would like to be the boy. <clears throat> Who? Nakshi, okay. So this one is boy, Nakshi. Um, I would like Nefeli um, to be narrator one this time. Nefeli. Narrator one, okay. And uh, we have that, okay, just me. Joe. Emma, are you going to read again? Joe, Georgia, mm. um, yeah, maybe okay. mm, can I be the conductor? Yeah, sure. Okay. You have the same voice, okay. did you? <laughs> no, they do. <laughs> Maria wants to be narrator three. Yes. Okay, Maria, narrator three. Uh, Emma can be narrator two. Emma, narrator two. Okay. And we have got gang. So we can do gang. Joe and um, ma'am, Tracy, ma'am, Calliope, ma'am. Gang. And we, will do the, we will be the gang. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Together, yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. So let's discuss it. Once upon a time, a little boy was having no fun and having no joy. He was lonely. He tried to have a dog. He tried to have a cat, but his mother would scare too. Uh, they bring dirt into the house, he said. So the little boy at school and at home always, always played alone until one day, looking up to the sky, he saw something flying high. A red balloon. The streets of Paris brightened that day. And the little boy could laugh and play. Find a friend. Guess I'll take my little balloon to school. Pass who was so very far, he had to take it on the streetcar. And the conductor said, No dogs, no large packets, and no balloons. He was me. Guess I'll walk and take my time. This balloon is a friend of mine, but I mustn't be late or they will lock the gate, and then I'll be trouble with my teacher. The little boy marched on down the street, and the balloon soon took up the beat. Following right behind the boy. A gang of boys saw the balloon following the boy, and he wasn't even holding it on a string. It was a strange sight, all right. We could they take that balloon and, and teach it tricks. Oh, no. Let's break it with rocks or sticks. Come here, the boy said. And he grabbed and held 
on tied to the string. And suddenly the gun come from a direction and the boy ran to give his friend the balloon some protection. But the gun kept coming and the rock that was so hurt was the one that made the red balloon burst. Don't die, don't live, don't go anywhere. I'll try to get you some more air. We, we got, got him. And do you know what happened? All the balloons in Paris that day loosened and, uh, their string and flew away. And from Florida, a lion wake up in the sky and the little boy cried and asked, Why? That red balloon was my friend. But the ending is happy, the ending is bright. All the balloons in the sky came to the boy's house that night. Thank you. Very good. Beautiful. <laughs>